The only way that would be strange is if you didn't know what agoraphobia was and you assumed it was just the inability to leave your house and that a safe space could not be a hotel. Agoraphobia is influenced by a billion factors. For example, it can be a lot more difficult to engage in daily mundane responsibilities and errands outside of the house. But fun activities that you enjoy can be a lot easier to do. For example, it could be impossible for you to go to the grocery store, but you can go to a bowling arena. What do you call a bowling alley? Alley. No problem. It's also influenced by stress. So if you are living your normal stressful life, but then you go on a vacation where you have no responsibilities, that environment is a lot less stressful. So your agoraphobia is less inflamed. But my agoraphobia is very much present when I travel. For example, the amount of time it would take you and me to plan the same vacation would be 10 times more for me because I need to heavily research exactly what I'm getting into and making sure that it's perfect so that I feel safe. You'll also notice that the vacation you're referring to was an all-inclusive resort where I did not once leave the property. If you watch my Vegas vacation, for example, you'll notice that I only do like one activity a day. And 80% of the time, I am in the hotel room. You'll also notice that I stay at the Cosmopolitan Hotel because all of the restaurants, stores, clubs are already in the same building, so I never have to leave the property. Another huge factor is exposure therapy. So if I leave my house one day, I can leave my house a lot easier the second day, even easier the third day, even easier the fourth day, even easier the fifth day, and so on and so forth. However, if I stay in my house for two days, the third day is going to be fucking harder to leave, and the fourth day is going to be harder to leave, and so on and so forth. So when I was backpacking in Southeast Asia and in Australia, uh, by the end of my trip, I didn't plan anything. I was sleeping on huts. I was sleeping fucking anywhere. I was, I was just showing up, being like, you got a room? They'd be like, no. I'd be like, mm, fuck it, guess I'm on the beach tonight. But anyone who ever met me when I was traveling knows that uh, the reason they met me is because I was in the fucking hostel 80% of the time and they would say, what are you doing? <laughs> you should have seen me when I was a kid though, when I was a teenager. We would get to a hotel room and I would have a fucking mental breakdown because there would be like a stain in the bed or like a hair in the shower or something. And my agoraphobia did not fuck with that. Climate is also a huge factor. Anywhere I am that I would have to put outside clothes on in order to go outside is a thousand times more difficult to do so. So I would suggest using different phrasing the next time you ask someone about their mental illness because it's not strange. You could just say, hey, I'm curious what it's like to go on vacations with agoraphobia.